For the past three weeks, I've been using the Loop Deck Live S to simplify and improve my World of Warcraft gameplay and interface. A game which has been around for 20 years and some people might think that it's been figured out and there's no more room for improvement. Today, we're going to challenge that notion and I'm going to show you how I customize this modern device in a way that would make curious any World of Warcraft player. Before we get into the specs and what this little gadget is able to do, keep in mind that this video is sponsored and Loop Deck has sent over this streaming console. With that being said, first, let me show you a way to use this in WoW. So here we are guys, currently logged into World of Warcraft Season of Discovery, playing my mage. Here I have my setup, my mouse, my keyboard, and obviously the Loop Deck console which is running on a World of Warcraft profile that I made myself. Don't worry, this profile will be available for download on the Loop Deck Marketplace. So let me show you what I can do with it. First page of the Loop Deck where I apply the most of my mage spells that are don't necessarily require a keybind or a space on the interface. The first one are the armors. We have the Ice Armor, followed by the Mage Armor, followed by the Molten Armor, into a Dampen Magic and Arcane Intellect. Five clicks I can fully buff myself or three clicks depending on which um, mage armor I want to use. The cool thing about this is that I made them in such a way that they don't take an action bar. You don't require to have an action bar. It's just all made to cast macros. I'll show you soon. Followed by the next ones are the teleport. Teleport to Orgrimmar. I'm obviously not going to do that right now. Teleport Undercity. Teleport Thunder Bluff. Portal if you want to give portal to your friends. All three portals and all three uh, teleports, we have them here. I also have the one for Alliance Mages, Stormwind, Ironforge, but it's in the profile as well. I'm going to show you in the app very soon. Followed by that, we have the Conjure Food and the Conjure Water. This is going to automatically choose the highest rank that you always have, so you don't have to update those buttons. If you touch them, they have like some sort of travel distance. Those are a touch screen. However, whenever you touch it, it feels like you're touching a real button because it gives you some sort of audio feedback, but also a vibrational feedback, and it goes down. It feels exactly like you're touching a button, however, you can scroll between them as well, or use the normal buttons to travel between... Um, we're gonna get to the second one soon. So you can craft water, you can craft food, but I also made my mana gems here. We have the Conjure Mana Jade, and also we have the Conjure Mana Citrine. In the profile, you're going to find the Mana Ruby as well for when you reach level 60 in the next phase of Season of Discovery. This would be the second one. And on the second page, as you can see, let me put it a bit on full cam so you can uh, see it better. We have Emote Center. I chose 20 of the most common emotes, emotes in World of Warcraft. And we're going to use them at the click of a button. I also made uh, nice animations. Let's find a player here. Let's see if uh, Epos. We go in front of him. We just pray to press the button, and it's automatically going to bow, automatically going to flex, automatically going to cheer. Uh, emotes are being used way too less in an MMO, especially like World of Warcraft, where everything is about roleplay, everything is about community, everything is about socializing. Whenever you pass someone in the game, it's nice to do a hello, for example. Or if someone gives you a buff, it's nice to give a tanks quickly. And having those at ease also reminds you of the emotes that you're not using that often. Look, he bowed back. <laughs> we can do a dance. And uh, Epos will dance as well with you. It's a way of communicating without saying nothing. I think it's really neat. Um, we can laugh and cry. Well, we have all of them. We have 15 of them. Let me show you again. And kneel, train, tanks, point, no laugh and so on and then i'm going to move towards my next uh, page which is the page number three which is assigned to that button but before we talk about the rest of the world of work of things loop deck is a streaming console which comes pre-installed with a lot of features this is my uh page when i start the windows this is how it appears i can open from here twitch facebook twitter uh, Streamlabs, loop deck youtube reddit netflix and asana which is my schedule maker a couple of them I added myself because I want to customize it on my own liking and I think I'm going to add the World of Warcraft launcher as well here. But uh, my point is that it comes pre-installed with a lot of features for streamers, such as like a way to control your stream, uh, your Twitch dashboard, to control your Twitch uh, chat, your moderator, to add various sounds so you can use them on the stream, 
but most important feature and the one that I like the most it's the dynamic feature so basically this one has some sort of AI feature wherever you open a program it will recognize and it will automatically change to that thing for example I opened my editing program which is uh, Adobe Premiere Pro it recognized and already took me there and it only took me like a couple of seconds to realize how this works so basically all the shortcuts are here for example the knob buttons are also pushable but also like scrollable so for example if i scroll i can zoom in and zoom out on my timeline if i push it i can make it small and big again if i need to drag something so you don't have to scroll all the time the second knob it's the cool thing you can move between the frames really slowly to the next movement so you can do a perfect cut and to do the cut you only push the knob here and it does the cut if you don't like where you did the cut you just do the undo button uh, you can add in and out points and everything is here and then if we go into world of warcraft it's automatically going to recognize that we are in the world of warcraft and it's going to swap exactly to our profile which was the one we were talking about earlier the dynamic mode is such a nice feature and you can get to way more profiles maybe for different games go to the marketplace they have a lot of them there maybe for some app that you use on a daily basis and eventually it will change entirely the way you use that app just like it changed the way i edit videos now with the loop deck now let's get back to the world of warcraft profile on the third page of the wow profile i created for loop deck you can find uh, the markers first and foremost so the markers are really easy to use you just select the target and apply it you click once and it will apply if you click twice it will remove it if you apply it by mistake to someone else this is an easy way to select in dungeons a kill order for the npcs or whenever you're pvping in strangleton vale you can see your teammates better by choosing uh, for them a specific mark all eight of them are here and they're really easy to use rather than right clicking and looking for someone and then trying to find a mark and then apply and then clear it it's much more cleaner and much more faster to do on the right i also set a button for the roll if you win an item in dungeon if you want to win an item in dungeon you have the opportunity to just press the button and do a random roll you can even spam it if you want until you reach 100 look i rolled 100 once but uh, it's just something convenient to have another extra feature if you can find a player here that would not be afk let's say for example you're out in the world and you're questing and someone is uh tagging your mob that you need for a quest you just select him quickly and you apply an instant invite so uh you might be able to share that kill for the quest oh yeah it worked and now we can go back quickly and do a slash bow and a slash hello and thank you and we go back to the thing and we try to do other things to them we're gonna try to do a trade so this one is for immediate trade we're gonna give him a gold so we can keep him curious oh no he's giving me a gold as well <laughs> it worked and then we also have a op opportunity to follow him on a button we press this button and we're all automatically on follow see but then we can press this button and inspect him go straight into inspect I made all those quick things to be able to access them on right on the spot another cool thing i have a duel button to challenge him to a duel automatically drop the flag and he's going to accept i'm going to let him do some damage to me we're not trying to win this one but we also have a button for forfeit if we want to forfeit we're just going to press the button in case someone is using potion or he's cheating in the duel he has too many world buffs or something we're going to forfeit really cool stuff so far frost lost oh i didn't lose stop it this is going to the comments oh he knows me he recognized me moving to the last and uh, not least uh, the profession tab we have here obviously you're probably not going to have all the professions that i have right here but the first one that you press is the most general one it's the first aid it goes straight to a command it doesn't use any sp space on the auction bars it doesn't use any uh thing um any keybind or something and uh, the next one is cooking as well i need to level my cooking to 300 if you have gathering professions we have the ability to swap it when find herbs and find minerals here we have a blacksmithing, um, engineering, 
letter working also smelting if you have a mining currently on this character i have enchanting and tailoring so i just open them by the button if you if you you can configure them as a, if you don't want one here you can just remove it unassign the button and put the ones that you want we also have disenchanting the ability to disenchant i press this button and then i can easily as you can see disenchant this one it would have been probably better to just vendor it but for the purpose of this video i can show you how this can be easy there are so many ways to use loop deck this is kind of crazy those are just the four things that i thought about emotes class specific spells uh, markers follows trades and also profession tab um, the way to use this is limitless let me show you how you can actually make a new spell if you're trying to use them for alts or for different um, characters as well on the right side of the profile here under stored custom actions you can find folders with everything that i shown in the video you can find the emotes mage teleport and spells mark targets wow trade skills and wow general actions you basically just uh take one from here and you can just uh, drag it if you want into this and it will basically work and then you can unassign the button or you can build uh, literally a new one here and put whatever you want in the order that you want you can put the professions that you want the skills that you want or you can create the pages exactly uh, as you want and then you just can unassign them but let me show you if you want to make new ones ones that are not in the profile basically what you have to do you have to go here create custom actions and you have a lot of options here but the ones that i found that are work great for world of workers are the keyboard shortcut and the paste text we're going to use as an example the paste text here and we're going to try to make a new spell for the mage for example the spell we want to make is fire ward uh, which is a shield for a mage that absorbs fire damage we're going to go to the paste text and we're going to use the universal symbol for enter which is this one and then we're going to go to the second line and we're going to do slash cast fire ward which is case sensitive it has to be exactly like it's written in the game in the, in the spell tooltip then we're going to do another thing and we're going to paste another enter symbol so we have three lines enter symbol the command for fire word and also the command for enter again we don't have an icon for this so what we're going to do we're going to go to the wowhead uh, database which is the database for world of warcraft we're going to type fire word on the here we're going to go to the first spell that looks like a fire word we're going to click on the icon and then we're going to click on the original until we get to this point we're going to right click save image as and you're going to save it wherever you want here i have a folder exactly for all of the things that i've done here we're going to put this one here we're going to open um, use the fire word uh, icon right here and then if you want to customize the text as well you can remove the text by deleting it but i do kind of like put to put the uh, impact here and maybe a 44 you can change the color if you want but that's fine by me it looks good fire word save that was literally took me like two seconds to create a spell you can create for a hunter pets you can create for uh warlocks you can create for uh, any class in world of work of a specific profile now if we go into the game and uh, we're going to press uh, the button which is uh, this one right here we're going to have a fire word on us it's that simple this is one way of doing it and now we're going to go back to the profile and i'm going to show you how to create a custom action with uh, for example the keyboard shortcut the keyboard shortcut means you have something on an auction bar could be the side action bars and th they don't have to be shown so you go to keyboard shortcut uh you want to display name let's say we want to put a macro that sells something uh, want to sell uh enchanting enchants because you want to send sell enchants right and then we go to the game and we do have the macro right here uh for let's go back to macros let's say you make it i don't really like this icon change name icon let's say we put something that is more visible more colorful that would look good on the stream deck as well this one it looks like an enchant i put a dollar sign because we want to make this is a yell macro but it could be like on different channels also as you can see the macro is on the sidebar which is uh bound to alt control 2 control alt 2 and i bound all the bar from control alt 1 to control alt 12 basically minus and equal 12 binds that i would never use because they're too complicated to press in a single button however with loop deck we can make it in a press of a button so if you want an icon you take the windows sniping tool you press new 
and you just go try and make it uh, as square as possible. You just drag it from a corner to another. I think this looks pretty good. Yeah, pretty much. We're going to save it. Save as. Uh, make sure you do case sensitive. This J JPEG has to be with lowercase. Uh, sometimes when it's uppercase, uh, doesn't work. So capture, let's say macro. Macro, it doesn't matter the name pretty much. We're only going to use it once. Now we're going to go back to the loop deck and we're going to assign here the keybind control alt 2 and if we want here we can put the things that we found in the game where is it where is it there we go we found it here we remove the text because it already has text from the game and we save it and save it as a new keybind voila want to sell and chant easy peasy now we can go in game and we can uh, hide the bot if you want. Because that's uh, the idea. Keeping a clean interface. We go to action bars. And we hide the bot. However, this is still going to work. Because we have it right here. Look at that. We're going to press. And it's going to work. Similar like we have the other macro. The DBM pull macro. Which we use when we pull bosses in dungeons. Three, two, or we pull uh, one. in strangle torn veil. We resurrect all together. So we can have an equal fight chance. This is really nice and you can spam it as much as you want. Be careful of how much you spam it on general channels because you might get uh, muted for a couple of um, minutes if you spam too much. This is it guys. We covered the Loop Deck Live S. Links in the description down below. Let me know what you think about it. How did you like the World of Warcraft profile? And how would you use it to customize your own character? Thanks again for watching. Until next time, stay frosty. Bye bye.